Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC, and today I have the privilege to interview again Dave Ulrich from Utah. Hi Dave, how are you doing? Meher, what a privilege. You look terrific. The pandemic has been good for you. That's not true, but <laughs> it's not been good for any of us, but you look great. It's an honor to be with you today. Thank you very much, Dave. So, Dave, no, uh, you are well known, but I still have to do an introduction to you. So for people who don't know you, so you're the founder of Modern HR and you share your wisdom and ideas and how organizations are coping in this incredible change. You are ranked as number one management guru by Business Week and profiled by Fast Company as one of the world's top 10 creative people in business. And recently, you are one of the top leaders to follow in 2021. And you also, you have a passion uh, for ideas and impact and you love learning uh, and all those things. Uh, you have bestseller books and speeches and corporate agendas. You, are, you have written 30 books and over 200 articles. And every Tuesday, if you're following Dave, he publishes an article on LinkedIn so that you can have ideas. So my first question for you, Dave, is I know that last year we spoke again at the beginning of the pandemic. So it's been almost a year now. What do you think we have learned as HR professionals, as, as leaders, what this pandemic taught us? There are so many lessons, it's hard to even distill them, but let me, uh, let me do two. Mm -hmm. I think a year ago in March, yes, I, I can anchor it. I was teaching a course at a local university mm -hmm. in the evening. I left the course about nine or 10 o'clock. I got in my car, I called my wife, yeah. And she said, they have just canceled the National Basketball Association, the NBA. Yeah. And I followed the NBA and I said, what? And, and that was for me the beginning of the dominoes mm -hmm. that we thought it would be over by April, by June. It's been a year. Um, two thoughts. The first thought, I think HR issues have become more center stage. Mm -hmm. In 2008 and nine, if people remember back, we had the financial and economic crisis, heavy personal debt, corporate debt, government debt, housing mm -hmm. debt. That was a financial and economic crisis. In the last year, we've had the global pandemic, which has been a health crisis. We've had social justice, Black Lives Matters, refugees, yeah. caring for diversity and inclusion issues, mm -hmm. so critical. Yes. We've had a political crisis. Uh, Canada's political system is fantastic. There's never any political disagreement. <laughs> but in America, we've had a political crisis and Germany and Brazil. We've had an economic crisis. Some firms are up. I wish a year ago I bought Zoom and Amazon and Google <laughs> yeah. stock. Um, and other industries are just terrible. Lodging and airlines. And and we've had an emotional crisis. All of these crises add up that everyone I know is facing emotional struggles. So my first takeaway is HR is center stage more than we've said that before, but it is, this is the people and organizational set of crises, plural. Second, what does that mean? I've been asking people and I thank you for mentioning LinkedIn. I posted last week, if you had to pick one message out of these crises, what would it be? Some people said digitization, which is true, social responsibility, which is true, take care of your friends, social. My answer is one word, personalization. Yes. And let me describe it. One, it's care about the person. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think everybody is feeling an emotional letdown. And so when we get together, the first thing we talk about should not be, what are the work goals? How do we get job done? How are you? How, How are you doing? Experiencing? How are you doing? And the second is personalization. Everybody's mm -hmm. dealing with this differently. I happen to have a, a wife of many years. To be honest, it's, it's embarrassing. We have a nice house. Our health is pretty good. We're together 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That causes her strife, which is appropriate. <laughs> but I have three kids. They're all dealing differently with it. One daughter quit her job to, to do homeschooling. Another daughter has had to change her job dramatically to do online work. A son is going into the office every day. I, I think person about emotion and empathy and yeah. experience and personalization about tailoring for the individual. I yeah. hope personalization will last. 
Yeah, I totally agree because everyone is different. Everyone is individual, and it, it like it's like benefits. You cannot be the same for everyone. Leaders have to be different in, in their approach. You know, that's a great example because benefits. Uh, some people are going to use childcare because they have children. Others aren't going to use childcare. Some are going to have different kind of flat time off versus mm -hmm. work time. I think that flexible entire flexibility of work. It's people say, well, I know the new normal. It's going to be all hybrid. Well it may for some and it may not for some yeah. and and learning to personalize that work i think will be important yeah i, I assume so. in the last year Meher, you and your, your your life have had a different experience than some of your friends yes and yeah, that's everyone's, different. Yeah. everyone's different and yeah. uh one of the things i love and i hope people will do it when you're walking around a store or you're in a restaurant or you're at work look at people's shoes mm. You know, I'm with people who are like me, but the store, the restaurant, the church, wherever I am, nobody's wearing the same shoes. <laughs> nobody's wearing this. I should have you hold up your shoe. You know, you and I are in the same field. We care about each other. We have the yes. same values. I bet we're not wearing the same shoes. No, we're all different. And yeah. that's okay. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for that answer, uh, Dave. So for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Dave a couple of questions. I'm going to post them on a daily basis. It will be like a journey every day. You check us, see what we're talking about. And if you like, please like and share the videos, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another great question with Dave.